When I look at the Army-Navy game and what it stands for and the people that have played in it, past, present, and future, it's not like any other game you've been a part of. The emotions are higher, the stakes are higher, and just for those 60 minutes, you're battling with those dudes on the field, but you know when you're done that you're gonna go serve with them on the back end when you graduate. As Cody Winokur prepares for his third Army-Navy game, he understands it is a privilege that might never have come to pass. Winokur's journey took an unexpected detour in 2020 when he violated the academic honor code and he was asked to leave the academy. I knew I was wrong in the first place and I know that I'm gonna own up to my mistakes and make them right, but throughout the whole thing, the people that I was really upset about that I hurt was like my family and not giving them the opportunity to like come up here and see me play. And I feel like I kind of robbed them of that opportunity. Winokur was determined to right his wrong. When the superintendent offered him a unique opportunity to serve active duty in the Army with the possibility of returning to West Point, he agreed. He said, Coach, I'll be back. Other times, I'd be like, yeah, OK, right. You know, kind of a nice knowing you, good luck to you. But to his credit, he said, this is my fault, and I'm going to fix it. Winokur spent eight months working two jobs at home in Maryland while waiting for his Army assignment. He then spent a year on active duty in the artillery regiment at Fort Drum in upstate New York. I went from private to sergeant in that time, which everybody was asking me about how did I do that. And I, I just woke up every day and tried to be the best person that I could be in my formation. He was on like a mission to improve himself. And he took that experience of going to Fort Drum and he grabbed the reins and did it to the best of his ability. Winokur worked hard, focused on returning to West Point, but staying physically fit to rejoin the football team was another challenge. Cody left as a 300-pound office lineman, and he honestly didn't know if he was going to come back and be able to actually compete in the Division One level, because it's hard. I would text Coach Hughes every month, and uh, I'd ask for our workouts, and then I would do that in my garage. I did that for almost two years. That way, when I came back, I could pick up right with the team and not slow anybody down. When he returned, he's a 240-pound soldier. He was strong and in great condition, but he wasn't at all in a body to play on the line. And I said, okay, well, what do you want to play? He said, how about tight end? So we went through the spring workouts, and he goes, I don't, I don't have any business playing tight end. So he goes, how about defensive line? I said, that's fine. Let's, let's send you back to the defensive line. In September, Winokur suited up for his first game in two years and was nominated by his teammates to carry the Army Black Flag, an honor that represents toughness, tenacity, camaraderie, and accountability. Most people would never come back. Think about how hard of a decision that is. That's putting your life on hold for two years. The guy that went to school here, went out in the Army and served on active duty, and comes back, he's got some street cred in our locker room. I mean, our guys, they respect him because of what he's been through. It feels really good being back. I'll walk around here sometimes and I'll just look around and think about graduation and sometimes it'll bring me almost to tears just because of how much I've been through to be standing where I'm at right now. But it's good to just keep that in perspective and that's what keeps me going.